I'm also getting a light and I'm getting a holster and I'm gonna be talking about that. I don't know if I should carry this or not carry this. Everything is so smooth about it. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on, man. Mess gang, what's up guys? I'm back in action. Yo, it just started downpouring outside. Look at that. I literally sat down to do the video and I heard that. I had to show you guys. All right, anyway, um, yeah, you've seen the title. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care if FN's been the number one since way back, this, that. I don't care, all right? I don't care. This firearm right here is the best 5.7 out there. Not the Ruger, not the PSA, not the FN, the M&P. 5.7 is the best out there, and we're gonna jump into it right now on why I think and pretty much know that it is the best out there. All right, let's get right into it. You guys, look at me. We're gonna jump right into it. This is why this 5.7 is the best 5.7 out. Right off the rip that no other 5.7 or maybe even, I don't know, I shouldn't say this. At least I know no other 5.7 has this. It's this rotating barrel system, which is called the tempo barrel system. It rotates the chamber of the round faster, and this is, I mean, that's why, you know, this 5.7 type of, these 5.7 type of guns are that fast. You know what I'm saying? So, that's right off the rip that no other 5.7 has. Okay, we got the ambidextrous slide stop, which is cool. You know, that's cool. Whatever. We got the thumb safety, which is here, you know, which is nice. Even though this thumb safety reminds me of the Glock, where it has the, uh, excuse me, this trigger safety. Reminds me of the Glock with the little guy right here. And also this trigger is so crisp, no slack really. Super crisp, right? Has got the back and front serrations. It's got the uh, slide cuts right here, which just gives it a nice little look to it. I like that, alleviate some heat. It comes with a threaded barrel. It comes optic ready. I mean, literally, what 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 other 5.7 do you know comes like this? That's a full size that carries 22 rounds, 23 really in here, um, that and that's slimline. I mean, look at this. I mean, I think the width across here is about an inch. That's it. The length is uh, eight and a half inches. The weight is 26 ounces which in pounds, I think it's not even two pounds. It's like 1.6 pounds or something like that. I mean, come on, let's literally like, uh, let's really think about this for a second. I know the FN has been the pinnacle. It's been the pinnacle for a long time. Why? Because it was the first, I understand that, that's cool. But this gun has definitely dethroned it. And I'm telling you, it's smoother, it's better. That big FN is that big blocky plastic, BS, it's nice, it shoots pretty smooth, but it's not like, it's not, it's not M&P smooth. It's not M&P smooth. The sights on it are absolutely trash. They're big and bulky. You got the, you got this big looking thing back here with the, no. Nah. It, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's fast and I know that and I know it's been the pinnacle, but I'm telling you, this guy is just as fast and you get much more. You get much more for the actual price of this, I think is, Six hundred and eighty-nine or ninety-nine dollars, but I'm telling you right now, I got this with two magazines for all together with tax, probably six hundred and forty dollars from this little mom and pop store a couple towns away. I did my research. I was calling, 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 and um, yeah, he said, "Come in with tax. I'll give it to you for six forty. I said, "I'll be right there." You know, you're paying for for the FN. You're paying. 12, 11, 12, 1300 dollars. And it's big and bulky and just, it looks like a, uh, what's that gun called? A high point. It literally looks like a high point. It's so ugly looking. It's, I don't like it at all. The newer one is not that bad, but the first generation is terrible. I mean, come on. You're literally getting a threaded barrel. You know, it's, this is an extra two, three, four hundred dollars if you want to get one. You know, you got, then you got to get a tax stamp, the whole BS. I already got it. It's like I got it for free almost. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, guys, like I said, the whole thing, literally, 
big full size 22 round plus one 23 rounds slim line and if you guys been watching my channel you know i have the glock 43x so that's also a slim line so i'm used to that i like that i like the littler you know the littler frames and everything like that it's only an inch across that's not bad and i'm getting 23 rounds of 57 you know what i'm saying this is a very high velocity bullet you know expensive very expensive but worth it you know this is now also going to be my you know bedside gun and the gun that i keep out around the house and you know my 43x is for my concealment i take out every day which not for nothing i'm also getting a light and i'm getting a holster and i'm going to be talking about that i don't know if i should carry this or not carry this um but i'm definitely getting a holster and a light which are coming soon so stay tuned but yeah guys i just wanted to go over all that stuff you know what i'm saying i mean what barrel system you know has that has that literal like revolver it's like revolving you know it's it's awesome you know it's really cool optic ready threaded barrel the trigger is silky smooth nice and crisp you know you got the ambidextrous slide stop you got the thumb safety you got the serrations you got the slide cuts i mean come on it weighs absolutely nothing you know and it's practical you know it's very practical I think M&P did a great job. I really do. I think they did a great job. <laughs> you know, I mean, look, we can agree to disagree. That's cool. But I'm telling you from the other five sevens that I shot, the Ruger's not that bad, but I feel like it's way too big. I feel like it's something just is not right about it. I don't know if it's the, the grip, the hand. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's up about it, but I'm talking about everything is so smooth. For a full-size gun that's slimline like this, I mean, it's it's full-size, but yet it's like almost, it acts as like if it was a smaller gun. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything is nice and slim and small and smooth, and full-size guns are not like that, really. You know that. They're big and bulky. You know, this thing is, this thing is so nice. I mean, come on. It's crisp, it's nice, you know what I'm saying? Everything is so smooth about it. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on, man. This I barely even put any not anything into that, you know? It's really cool. I'm telling you right now, if you're gonna get a 5.7, get this, you know? Even loading the magazine, it's like, come on. That's 22 rounds, I, even, I barely put any pressure into that. You know, they're saying stuff about the magazines, this, that. I'm telling you right now, I'm first person, that th this gun is the top of the top of elite five settings. 150%. 150%. I've shot it. You can see my video, my previous video, when I go to the range and shoot it. I mean, it's silky smooth, guys. So I just wanted to bring to everybody's attention today that the MMP, the Smith & Wesson MMP 5.7 is the best 5.7 out on the market. You could agree to disagree. We can go toe to toe. And I'm telling you, when we put other guns side by side and we shoot, shooting them, all right, I can understand it's gonna be possibly pretty much even, whatever, you can, that's fine, I don't care. But everything that you get with it and everything that it comes with and the slimline factor of it all is just second to none. So listen guys, I know I was a little adamant about my video today, but I stand on it, all right? So my light's coming in, my holster's coming in, and we're gonna get into a lot more things about this 5.7, so stick with me. I appreciate you guys for stopping in today. See you soon.